fair of face. This project is about exploring images of ageing and how they impact on older women's lives. We live in a world that's saturated by media images, but for older women, many of those images are negatively stereotyped. Older women are the butt of humour. Often women, older women are simply absent from the media. So the project is working with older women using a variety of visual methods to explore images, have conversations about images, but also working with women so that they're producing their own new, challenging images of, of ageing. Stereotypes are sometimes a very bad thing because people feel they've got to live up to them then. I don't want to feel old. And I'm 90. 91 in May. When I was younger, I mean, when people got to 70, they just used to seem to sit in the chairs and there didn't used to be a conversation going. Whereas now, we do have a have a say in things, don't we? The dominant image is of a younger, sexy body. What we're um, exhorted to do is to think about our, our body image all the time, um, to keep uh, uh, wrinkles at bay. Um, and I think increasingly, uh, well, you, you feel that you, be, you start to become more invisible as you get older because you're not living up to that ideal. women were aged between 43 and 96 and we use these visual methods to produce a range of artwork so uh, photographs, sculpture, more classical artwork and we displayed the images in an exhibition uh, called Look at Me and it was held in three different venues across Sheffield and we got feedback from people who attended the exhibitions, it was initiating a conversation about the images and about their impact. I think it's funny an old woman should um, try and recreate what she did in the playground as a youth. You know, I didn't think an old woman could do a handstand, I can't. <laughs> someone pointed to me, was directing someone and they said, ask the woman with the grey hair. So they didn't say my name and they didn't say anything else about my appearance but that I'd got grey hair. It was a realisation that in the last three or four years, my hair has become predominantly grey. I don't like the fact that we're sold and pushed the idea that we need to look younger than we are. Another woman traced the wrinkles on her face and uh, talked about them representing the hieroglyphs of her life. It's a bit like a, a Matisse painting, beautiful imagery. There's a lovely pair of tights with little hairy bits on, but not many, so it represents the balding pubis. So these are aspects of the body that we, we, we just don't see in the media. We don't talk about what happens to women's bodies. It's hidden from view. In other workshops, we contracted photographers to come and work with the women. One photographer did a series of before and after images, you know, satirising those before and after images that fill women's magazines and television programmes. Now look at that. What Alzheimer's got to do with this one? There was a woman on television, she was 75. I won't go outside without my slump. If I want to wear a sleeveless top, I shall wear a sleeveless top. And if my bra bothers me, I shall bloody take it off. The silver lining in old age is that you can do what you like and nobody can tell you any different. This sort of research is important because the issues that we're looking at aren't going away. And some people will argue that they were tackled, they might have been tackled in the 70s and 80s by feminists then. But if you think about the continuation of ages and how it affects women's lives, it's important to keep that on the policy making agenda and on the academic agenda too, to understand how, uh, how ageism uh, occurs, how we experience it, and in terms of policy, to think about ways in which we can uh, address ageism. <laughs>